What I want to show you today is a new lighting kit that I bought since I started to do more videos and putting them up on YouTube. I came under some severe lighting situations where it was hard to uh, get some great illumination on the subjects there. So I invested in this kit. It's the uh, it's made by Photobright Lighting. I ordered it through uh, Steve Kayser from uh, Ventura, California. And what it is is uh, three light, three lights that are fluorescent uh, bulbs. The uh, they're not the hot spots, and they're in two foot uh, soft boxes and they have a scrim that goes over it. So I'll show you what comes in the kit here. They give you this nice bag to store everything in, so it's really nice to keep it all together. Each light has its own tripod stand. Has a little protector on the top of the stand to protect the screw thread from poking through the canvas bag. These are really handy, so don't throw them away the first time you use them. If you ever go back to putting them in the bag, you'll appreciate why they poke holes in very, very quickly. These are lightweight stands, but they serve the purpose. The lights themselves are not that heavy. Of course, the softbox comes in a bag by itself. And the whole thing is wired so that you don't have to attach anything. The way you insert this is you push this ring around the actual light socket, and that keeps it supported. There's one tip that I've discovered since using these. If you look at these really close, the, there's, a, there's a nut that has to be pulled back into its socket before it'll actually fit on top of the tripod. So if you try putting it on and it's not going on, check this out and pull it back into the back of the socket and it'll fit right on there. And it clamps up nicely. So these lights will fit any of your standard uh, uh, photography lighting stands. The lights came packed in this little um, plastic container which was really convenient because they fit right in the box. I'll show you a little tip I have about storing these after we get this set up. So there we have the light, pretty bright. We can soften it up by putting the scrim on. there you have it. It's really a pretty convenient light and it's, uh, it's 5,000 Kelvin which is daylight and it's 50 watts. It's very lightweight. That might be a disadvantage if you take them outside or get in some windy condition you may have to sandbag them like anything else. But I really liked them. So let's take it apart and turn it off, unplug it, take the scrim off. Now the scrims did come in a little plastic bag, but the plastic bag is not really anything to reuse. It was one of those one-time bags, so 
you might want to get something to store these bags in so that they don't get dirty, like a big, uh, uh, what do they call those, kitchen bags, you know. Now, this is the only thing I really don't like about this is you can't take this light and fold it up while this bulb's inserted in it. So you have to remove the bulb. Then you can snap this ring off, off the socket and the light will collapse. It is pretty handy because you don't have to uh, take the light housing out of the uh, softbox like you do with some, some of the strobe setups. And there's uh, you can put that in the bag, fold the cord up with it, and it insert it alongside. Now when these came packed, the, uh, the scrim was inside the bag, like I said, inside, but I didn't like that because I, I'd like to just keep them separate and I'll find some other, like I said, a Ziploc storage bag or something to put them in. And of course the light stand, we want to remember our little plastic protector that threads on there. see this is the one thing I didn't like I didn't like these bulbs being out or separate and just in this plastic container because I transport stuff a lot I go out on locations and shoot and I didn't want these to be bouncing around inside the uh, bag here and this box was really just a little too inconvenient to keep it wrapped up in there so I'll show you what I come up with. So we went to the big box store and found some three inch drain pipe. And you can see this is corrugated on the outside. And it's really lightweight. There's, uh, there's schedule 40 uh, drain pipe, which is a lot heavier and thicker than this. I don't feel that it's necessary. Plus it's very expensive. Uh, this 10-foot section was $7.60 or some, some change on that, so that was, it was more economical. I did cut it up into smaller pieces, and I bought end caps for it. So I took the, and I did, I, did, I took the tube with me, that's key when you go shopping for these, is that to make sure that you're light will fit inside these and it rattled around a little bit so I came up with some bubble wrap and just one wrap around there was enough to tighten these up and with another end cap the end caps were about a dollar seventy a dollar seven or a dollar seventy I, I can't even remember but for basically um, twenty dollars, I got enough to make a lot of these tubes. So putting these in the bag, I'm going to feel more comfortable with those rolling around than just um, the tube in that box or by itself. One thing I didn't mention is that I was actually shooting this video with the other two lights. 
that's why I could only show you the one. So these are the actual results that I'm getting. There's no ambient light on, it's just these two lights with 50 watt bulbs in them.